Now in the next question that is question 36 which is based on Young's double slit experiment. It says in the double slit experiment the intensity of light at a point on the screen where the part difference is lambda is k. Lambda is given to you the wavelength of light used. The intensity of point where the part difference is lambda by 4 will be. You see this is a direct formula based question. You can use the expression i that is to be calculated is i naught cos square phi by 2. This is what can be used. You have to calculate the value of this i where the i naught has been given to be k and this phi is the phase difference to be calculated from this part difference lambda by 4 is equivalent to 90 degree of phase difference. So phi which is the phase difference is 90 degree divided by 2. So cos 45 a square of that that is 1 by 2. So the value of i will be coming out to be k by 2 and for that matter the option 3 will be the correct answer to question number 36. Now let me explain next question that is question 37. Now in this next question that is question 37 which is directly you can say formula based questions. If the focal length of the objective lens is increased then magnifying power of you have to compare the magnifying power of microscope and telescope. Now you see if you talk about the magnifying power of microscope then it is inversely proportional to the focal length of objective. In fact in the denominator it comes focal length of objective as well as that of eyepiece. But if you talk about telescope then magnifying power this is fo by fe if you remember then here it is directly proportional to fo. So in case you are increasing the focal length of objective then microscope magnification will decrease but that of telescope will be increasing. So most appropriate answer for this will be option 4 and that explains question number 37. Now let me explain next question that is question 38. Now in this uh, next question that is question 38 which is based on a prism. The angle of prism is A, one of its refracting surfaces is silvered. You see in this particular question if you see that if you have the prism like this then one of the faces has been silvered. So it says that the angle of prism is A, one of its refracting surfaces is silvered. This is the angle A and light rays falling at an angle of incidence 2a on the first surface this will be treated as first surface returns back through the same path after suffering reflection at the silvered surface this is possible only if the angle of incidence here is 90 degree otherwise it is not possible the ray is coming something like this making an angle 2a if this angle is a this is 90 minus a and this angle is a now they are demanding what is the refractive index mu of the prism. You see simply you have to use the equation mu is equal to sin i by sin r. Here for i you can use this 2a and for r you can use this angle a sin a. If you remember sin 2a has the standard value 2 sin a into cos a and this divided by sin a. So ultimately you see this portion is cancelling out and mu is coming out to be 2 times cos a. So the appropriate option for this question will be the second one 2 cos a. That explains question number 38. Now let me explain the next question that is question 39. Now in the next question that is question 39 which is based on photoelectric effect. When the energy of the incident radiation is increased by 20% the kinetic energy of the photoelectrons emitted from a metal surface increased from 0.5 electron volt to 0.8 electron volt. Now the work function of the metal is very simple question it is you have to just use the expression. You see Einstein's photoelectric expression which says that incident energy let us suppose this is E this is equal to work function plus the kinetic energy. In the beginning let us suppose this is 0.5 given to you so this is 0.5. Now next time it is saying that the energy has been increased by 20% that means the new energy value is 1.2 E this is equal to work function will remain as it is 
and the kinetic energy value has changed to 0.8 value. So this is the another equation. Now if you simultaneously solve these two, you will get the expression for work function and that will come out to be 1 electron volt and for that matter the correct option for this question will be option number 2. That explains question number 39. Now let me explain the next question that is question 40. Now in the next question that is question 40, it is says that it is saying that if the kinetic energy of the particle is increased to 16 times its previous value, the percentage change in the de Broglie wavelength of the particle is. Now you see if the kinetic energy has been increased to 16 times that means momentum has been increased to 4 times because that is the way they are related and if you see the de Broglie wavelength this is h by mv. Now if this momentum is increasing to 4 times value that means lambda is decreasing to one fourth of the value you understand so new lambda dash this is lambda by 4 so it is only that 25 percent it is retaining so what is the loss what is the change the change will be 75 percent so most appropriate answer for this question will be option number 2. Now let me explain the next question that is question 41. Now 